from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KTK. Joining us now is Michelle Mills with the VVB. Today we're going to be talking about protecting ourselves from scam artists. Good morning, Michelle. Good How are morning. we? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> we're good. To, it's good yes. to see you here in our it's studio today. Too, thank you. Yes, um, we want to know a little bit more about the scam landscape right now, especially during the holiday season. What is it looking like yes. right now? Yes, and so, you know, we're, we're getting through the holiday season. Now, now we want to make sure people know how to keep from getting scammed next year. So what it looks like is in 2021, 5.7 million people reported fraud mm. and that $5.8 billion were, was reported lost. So that's 70% higher than it was in 2020. So we can just kind of see those numbers going up. Um, and so and the other thing that we found was that the younger people were more likely to fall victim to scams probably because we're seeing more and more stuff happening online. So that kind of makes sense. Now, older people tend to lose more, but younger people tend to lose more often. They tend to fall victim more often. So we want to be aware of those things. All righty. Okay. Um, what are the top three things we need to do to keep from getting scammed, especially the younger generation? Sure. So the first thing you want to do is don't click on stuff, right? Don't click on stuff in your text messages, in your emails, um, on social media. There's a lot of clickbait, especially during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. You get these really good, too good to be true deals, free trials, those types of things. You want to stay away from that. Um, just realize that some of those ads, the, it, it may look like it's from a company that you know. Um, donations also it may look like from an organization that you know, but it may not really be them. We get lots of reports of fake ads and things like that. So don't click, right? Um, second thing is um, don't just give out your information. If somebody calls you and it sounds like a good deal or, or if you click on an ad and they want your information, realize, again, it may not be who they say they are on the other end. So don't just give your information out to anybody, especially personal information, financial information. You really, really want to protect that. That your information is gold to these scam artists. So remember that. And third thing, do your homework. We always want people, it's always better if you know that you're wanting a product or a service and you do your homework first and you research different companies and what the price ought to be and things like that before you make that purchase or or you know uh, purchase or get that service you want to make sure you do that homework first because then you know where that money is going if you act impulsively you're more likely to fall victim to a scam right and if we do fall victim to a scam how do we report that incident sure you want to report it to BBB scam tracker that's bbb.org forward slash scam tracker so that we can track the phone numbers, the emails, how much people are trying to take from you so that other people can also look and see, okay, so I got a call from that number or I got an email from this person. Somebody else reported it as a scam. So it helps us keep track of that and it helps you know if that number has been reported as a scam or email. Um, and then you also want to report it to the FBI's uh, Internet Crime Center. So that's IC3.gov that helps them keep track as well. Awesome. All righty. And where can people find more information about protecting themselves and even more. Sure, you can always go to BBB.org. We, we want people to be proactive before so that they don't fall prey to these scams. All righty. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. It was wonderful to see you. Thank you for thank being you. here today. All right, we'll be back with the second half of KTK's East Texas Live in just about two minutes. Stay with us.